רבי יונתן אייבישיץ, עליו השלום, said that שנאת חינם is not just about talking about a different קהילה and you don't like them, you don't this, you don't that. שנאת חינם is when you see another Jew sinning, you see him drive on Shabbat, but you don't say anything. Why? Ah, maybe it's going to turn him off. Yeah, but he's off already. <laughs> he's off the road. He's driving on Shabbat. How much off can you get? Him and the guy that's buying a Buddha statue are the same thing. What's the difference? No, but maybe, maybe I could get him to, 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 to Judaism by showing him love. What? By complimenting him going against the Kadosh Baruch Hu. So someone went to a gas station one time after his car broke down. He had a tank. He just walked in the desert for three and a half hours. Don't try this at home. The guy comes with the tank and he says, I need some gas. So the guy happily comes. Hey, listen, fill up the whole thing. He goes, oh, on second thought, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. So, is it something that I said? No, you didn't say it, but I'm not interested. Goes, well, the gas here is good. Because the gas is good. Fine. I just, I'm not interested. Where's the next gas station? Because the next gas station is 10 miles away. He goes, okay, so I'll walk there. He says, what's wrong with our gas? He goes, it's not the gas. I just don't want to buy gas here. I'm going to go over there. He goes, yeah, but it's the desert. You're going to walk 10 miles in the desert? He said, yes. Why? He said, you're not going to understand. He goes, listen, maybe you have a beard and a keeper and I don't, but I'm not stupid. Tell me why. What's the problem? You're not going to understand. No, no, tell me. Tell me. No, come on. Okay, I'll tell you. Let's say somebody decides to go get a billboard in New York, quarter million dollars a month. And instead of putting CNBC's next show... He puts all types of curses against your father. He says, your father is this, your father is that, your father is this, your father is that. All types of things against your father. Are you going to do business with him? He goes, what business with him? Where does he live? I'll find him right now. <laughs> he goes, okay, sir, that's my point. He says, what are you talking about? I don't even know your father. He goes, oh, maybe you don't think you know my father, but you have a sign over here that says that you do business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That means that you are not only violating Shabbat, but you're advertising it to the public that you are going against my father in heaven. And you want me to do business with you? Rabotaye Karim, it's very easy to give everybody a compliment. All of the rich people and all of the this people and all of the that people. But Arab Wasam and Allah Shalom wrote in one of his answers in a letter that if you are complimenting the wicked, you're wicked too. His makor was not only Sharet Shuvah, but also Shlomo Melech himself. The point is, Rabotai, is that it's not about trying to bring people closer by complimenting them. You have to bring people closer by telling them what HaKadosh Baruch Hu said. How they des decide what they're going to do. Once they have that information, that's not your business. It's not your business whether they're turned on or turned off or turned uh, neutral or maybe they're going to revert. It doesn't matter. It's not your business. Your business is to simply deliver the Torah to them on a silver platter. Now, if they're really close to you, I recommend you don't tell them one thing. Don't talk. Why? You'll ruin it. What do you do? You let us talk. You give them a CD. You give them a link. Why? If they know you, they're not going to listen to you. If they're your father, they're your mother, they're your brother, they're your sister, they're your workmate, they're not going to listen to you. Why? They know you since you were like in diapers. How are they going to listen to you now? Why? Because you have a beard now? Okay, so you have a beard with diapers. 
They know you from a long time. They know you when you used to go out with the Goya. They know you when you used to go to the bars. They know you when you used to be a promoter in clubs, a Shem Yilachem on those people. They know you when you used to sell clothes to women that weren't exactly uh, Bat Israel. They know you had the store for, for those women that work in those places. Well, you made a lot of money. They know you since then, before the beard. The beard comes for free. That's why the goat has it too. But the point is, Rabbi Tai, they know, so they're not going to listen to you. So what are they going to do? They're going to listen to a stranger. Why? That's the only version of them that they know. So you give them a CD. You give them a link. You press share. Right or left, right or left finger, same price. The point is, you try to be a mezakeh rabbi. Try to help the public by bringing them the truth. Not your version of the truth. Not what you think is too hard or too weak or too this or too that. Just the truth. Uncensored truth. What did Hashem say? Share. That's it. Nothing else. If you have more than just a finger, you work for a living, you make a few shekels above your bills, which is rare in this day, but you actually do, you can actually use money too for that. Not just to buy stock, believe it or not. Money is not just for buying stocks. You can actually do other stuff with it. It's not even buying houses too. You can do other stuff with it. Like Kiruv. Like helping Ami do Tshuva. The point is, Rabotai, is that you could all become little messengers of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. By simply taking a little bit of time of your day to publicize Torah. Now, the Mishnah in Avot says that someone that encourages the public to get closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has special treatment of this person when it comes to giving him different tests. He also says to the prophet Jeremiah, Im if you bring somebody that used to be a criminal, somebody used to drive on Shabbat, somebody that used to be uh, Hashem Yachem, all types of other sins, and you get this person close to Hashem, you get him to start praying every day, put on tefillin, listen to Torah, learn Torah, real tshuva, not fake tshuva, like he did a few mitzvot, but he's still going out with a goya. Real tshuva. He changed his life. Not that he's going to pray all day, but that he goes to clubs on weekends. Somebody that changed his life. Somebody that's an Eber Hashem, not the fakers. There's plenty of those. They put on tefillin and before the pork sandwich. No, Rabbi, it wasn't pork. Where was it? Where'd you get it from? It was Subway tuna sandwich. Oh, Subway's kosher now? Well, no, not really. Okay, so it's pork. What do you mean? Well, the bread. You know what's in the bread? Oh, I didn't check. It's pork. Yeah, but it's a tuna sandwich. Yeah, the tuna is fine. The tuna's a fish until they put pork on it. Yeah, but it's salad only. Okay, so the salad is worse than pork. Why? It has worms. She says shakol. Not the not adama. All the worms that are on it. So there's plenty of those. There's, but those people, they give tzedakah, they put on tefillin, they come from Inyan once in a while. There's plenty of people doing mitzvot. We don't need people doing mitzvot only. We need people doing tshuva. Tshuva means change your life, change your ideology. Put the screw that's missing back in. That's what tshuva means. Change your life. Now, changing your life takes time. But it takes a second to decide. One second to decide. Am I going to change my life or no? Am I going to try my best to do the, what Hashem wants or no? One second. The process could take years. But one second decision. Each person could be that button. That button that causes the person to change their ways. That's what you can do. In a million different ways. For free, for money, for efforts, for skills. Plenty of different ways. Plenty of different ways to do it. Each person can do it. But in order to do such a thing, you have to understand what's, what's it going to take. Well, first we need to know the reward. A Kadosh Baruch Hu says, 
if you do it and you get people to do tshuva, you're going to be like my mouth. If you bring the criminal and you make him something precious, you make him a bal tshuva, you're going to be like my mouth. What does it mean to be like Hashem's mouth? To be like Hashem's mouth means you pray, Hashem says, check. You ask for something, Hashem says, no problem. You need something, check. Why? That's how we live. All three of our lives are living miracles. I don't know the financial situation of everybody. All I know is that it has to be a miracle. Why? We're here. We're all supposed to be in businesses, running a bank, running a company, running this, running that. But no, we're doing this. For what? For free. For free. How? How do you pay for the mortgage? How do you pay for the rent? How do you pay for the car? How do you pay for $52? For heaven's sake, uh, gas just to get here. I don't know. Hashem sent it. What? Did you, did you, did you fill in some clock somewhere? No. Did, did you collect? Uh, did you do something? You charged for a lecture yesterday? No. So how did you do it? I don't know. Hashem paid. Hashem paid. There's plenty of people that charge for lectures. But that's also why they don't necessarily tell you the same thing. Why? Because if you pay, you could also make the decision of what they say. So you see, Rabotai Kirim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, if you help people do tshuva, you ask for something, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is simply going to fulfill it. You don't need to be a speaker. All you need is to have ratzon. Just the will to help other Jews do tshuva. That's all you need. But in order to do that, in order to have success at doing kiruv, at helping Am Yisrael do tshuva, you cannot just have willpower by simply exercising your arms by giving CDs away. You cannot have willpower just by pressing the button on the internet to, for your PayPal to press, yeah, send money, send money, send money. That's not enough. You have to have merit. You have to have merit, meaning Akadosh Baruch Hu needs to want your kiruv. And the only way to get that is with Torah. Is by learning and fulfilling the Torah yourself.